Hello again folks, in tonight's video I'm going to be building this PWM DC motor speed controller as well as taking a look at this magnetic PCB work holder. Now I will state at this point, to comply with YouTube's terms and conditions, that this uh, work holder was kindly supplied to me free of charge by Banggood.com. But as always, my uh, review will be both honest and unbiased. So with that formality out of the way, let's have a look at the product. So what we've got here is essentially two pieces of what appears to be laser cut acrylic and in between we've got a steel plate with this carbon fibre effect finish. To secure the whole thing together we've got these rubber feet with allen bolts through there and uh, anodized blue aluminium uh, nut uh, and that's basically holding the whole thing together. On the top of the plate as you can see here we have these four pillars. Now these of course are magnetic and if I take you through one of them, um, you will see that we have a spike on top, uh, which I'll show you what that's for in just a moment. Uh, and we've got a slot here for a PCB. Now, if you look at the top half of the slot there, you can see it's slightly angled. And that's there to basically accommodate different thicknesses of PCBs. Essentially, they will, uh, will self-adjust and prevent the uh, PCB from moving up and down. It's quite a nice feature, that. Uh, but where I think this is going to come into its own is with these spikes on top and if I just bring these out slightly uh, and bring in a PCB that's got um, four holes, uh, a hole in each corner I should say, um, you will see that it sits very nicely on top. Now, quite a bit of pressure on there and those magnetic pillars aren't really moving that much. Yes, of course, if you apply lots of force they will do that. Um, but for general working, um, you know, the pressure of a soldering iron, it's not going to move anywhere. I'm actually surprised at how stable that actually is. Um, but in this uh, uh, setup, or this configuration, if you like, really nice and easy to go in and rework a board. If you're desoldering the boards, you know, if you're taking a lot of components off, having it like that, you're just in and out with your, your desoldering pump. Um, and you can remove your components really, really quickly. Like so. Now it's just a case of lifting the board off and then um, removing your whatever component it is. So really nice, uh, really nice little feature, those spikes. But of course, um, we've only got two holes on here. Clearly you can't uh, use it on a PCB that's got two holes because it's just going to wibble wobble it like so. Uh, but once we've populated this PCB, we can bring in the pillars or the supports, like so, and there's our PCB in place, nice and secure, not going to go anywhere. Slight bit of uh, lateral movement, but of course you can expect that, there's, there's no way you can fully secure it, um, unless the, the pillars were square, had a square profile to them, of course if it's a, a flat side it's... Uh, it's going to secure it a bit better, but you know, that's not going to go anywhere at all really So what we'll do is um, I will do it a little bit differently tonight I will fully populate this PCB tonight and uh, then we'll use the, the support to solder it up So if you just bear with me, I'll go and populate this board up and then uh, we'll, we'll get the iron on it and get it put together So I'll catch you in a moment Okay, so that's all the resistors and diodes in, uh, and I'm just going to tack these up now. Of course, it's important to make sure that if you're uh, soldering this inverted like this, that you bend the leads over, uh, just so they're not going to drop out uh, and land on your workbench. Just quickly tack these up. Now this is a particularly small PCB, of course it might be a bit tight in here, but uh, we'll give it a go, see how it works. Oh, that was way too much solder on there. Get rid of that. Few more 
off to go. I think that's about it. Okay. So let's just check that out. Yeah, a couple of components need to be realigned. That's just because I haven't bent them over properly. A um, little bit of pulling a solder coming through there. We can take that off. It's not essential to take that off there, off the front. But there we go. Uh, not too bad. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video. I'll populate the rest of the board and then we'll come back and finish it off. So bear with me. Okay, that's the last uh, few components on the board now. I'm just going to tack them up. Um, so we'll do with this IC first. And of course, you can just rotate the, the frame around if you need access to, to other parts of the board. Just make it a bit easier for yourself. And uh, for these sort of larger, heavier components, I've just um, bent the leads, you know, on this three lead, this is a potentiometer here. I've just bent one, the middle lead one way and the two end leads the other way. Uh, and the MOSFET here, all I'm going to do is, I've bent all the leads to, to secure it. So I'm going to tack up the middle lead and once I've done so, then I can just straighten up those other two leads. And uh, tack those up. Like so. Uh, and lastly, I've got the LED. Oh no, it's the power, uh, DC connector for the uh, motor. So I think that's it all done up. Just uh, need to rework that one slightly. Like so. And that's us good to go. So we'll take this out. We will trim it up. And then, of course, we'll test it, see if it works. Okay, so that's our board completed. Quite a nice, simple, easy to build kit. Uh, we will plug in the DC motor. like so i've just put a little bit of capped on tape on there so we can hopefully see it going round i don't know if that's on or off but we'll, we'll soon find out and we've got a six volt supply required for this kit and we do have power and if we take the potentiometer So that's set at full speed, and if I slowly turn it down, it does go down to a reasonably slow speed, and it cuts out about there. So yeah, great little kit, maybe good for some sort of uh, model or that kind of thing, some sort of project, a windmill, you get the idea, use it for many things. So that is the uh, EQ kit KM1, uh, PWM DC motor speed controller, and that was a quick look at the um, this magnetic PCB work holder. Um, just one other thing I did, didn't mention is... 
I, I think what I'm predominantly going to use this for um, is for surface mount soldering. Again, if you position your PCB using the spikes or even using the slots for surface mount um, work, this is going to be absolutely fantastic because you can go down, uh, you can apply your paste. Of course, this isn't, this isn't a surface mount board. But you can apply your paste nice and easily. You don't have to worry about your other hand moving. You can put nice even dots out like so. And you can take your hot air, get up to temperature, and then just slowly go over your board. That's going to make surface mount soldering so, so much easier. Um, okay, so overall opinion, yeah, I quite like it. This is coming in at just under £11, I think £10 or £11 just now on banggood.com. Um, for what it is, I would suggest it's maybe slightly expensive. Um, however... Um, compared to some of the cheap plastic, um, you know, swivel type PCB hoses you can pick up for maybe four or five pounds, uh, definitely worth spending a little bit extra and getting this. It's quite versatile, given that you can use the slots, um, you know, all these sort of pointed parts here for for putting on the holes. Um, on a small PCB like the PCB like this, I did intentionally use a smaller PCB. Um, yep, yeah, on on sort of densely populated boards when you've got a lot of leads and that it is going to be a little bit tricky to get in about these pillars because they're so low down however you know on a bigger board such as you know this if it didn't have holes in it of course you could um, put these pillars in and support the the board using the slots on something like that where it's a lot more um, you know the components are a bit more widespread of course, that's going to be very, very easy to access uh, those component leads. So there we have it. Yeah, thumbs up for me. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. If you haven't done so and you'd like to do so, as always, click on my head down here, wherever it is. And until next time, take care of yourselves and all the best. That's if I survive the storm that you may be able to hear going on outside the workshop. <laughs> take care, guys. Ta-ta.